Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I want to show you how to add a clickable hyperlink to either the single value or KPI card in Power BI. And even better, this hyperlink can be clicked anywhere on this object as well. This came about due to a customer request that I had on a recent project, so I want to pass this technique on to you. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So I have two cards in front of me here. The one on the left is the single value card that we've seen in Power BI before in a lot of my other videos. And the one on the right I don't use as often, uh, but is the built-in KPI card that allows you to actually show a trend line or other things kind of behind the actual card value itself. And I want to show you how I added a clickable hyperlink to these. Notice that if I hover, there's actually an option to navigate. So anywhere on this card I can click once this is published and this will navigate me to the hyperlink provided here. Now the way that I actually did this is you'll notice here if I select, let's start with the card on the left and look at our selection pane up here, you'll see that there is a group for single value card. And there's two items in here. Total site visits is the single value card that you see here. And then on top of it is a hyperlink button. Now these buttons are the ones that you can add up here. If you go to buttons, there is an option to add a blank button. So all I did is I created a blank button here. I made sure that after I created it, I turned off the outline because if you can see if it's turned on, it kind of shows a border that I don't particularly like. So now it's just a clear button sitting on top of that with a clickable link. And in here in the action section, you do have that option to add a web URL, which can either be just a static URL here. If you wanted to, you can also do a custom advanced DAX URL that I won't get into in this video, but there's a way to essentially attach a URL link to this as the action type. So that when, when you click it, it will navigate there. And then you just place this on top of this object here and group them together. Now, if you're curious about the group by functions and everything, I will link you to my video here that talks about that in more depth. It's something where if you multi-select objects, you have the option to right click and say group and group on group, just like a lot of other Office products. And the other thing that I wanted to do with these cards as well is make it very clear that you can click them. Now you can hover as you see here, and there is the option to click here to navigate, but it's not super obvious for me. So I've actually chosen to include a hyperlink symbol. And for the single value card on the left, you notice that for total site visits, what I have done is I've actually renamed the field itself. And there is just the unit chart character for the link or the chain symbol in here. I put that in there. Um, and this is something I did instead of say having a title, which that case would just spell it out. So I'm including a little image in here. Um, in this case, the unit char symbol, and that is what's being returned at the bottom to indicate for, to people that they can click this. And then it's just a matter of basically turning on that category label, which puts it in there and formatting the size and the shape of the card just to get it to fit appropriately. Now, some of you might already be thinking, how did I do this on the card on the right? Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is if I go to total site visits, notice that there's not actually any option um, to have the indicator or the trend axis name visible on this card anywhere. So there's no category label that I can turn on. So the way I got that same symbol to show up is the hyperlink button itself. Let me see if I can grab that and move that independently. See, there you go. So that actual clear button, that is where I put the symbol instead because I couldn't actually include it in the card itself when I changed it to the KPI card. So my button text, same kind of principle. I put the symbol in here and then all I did was set the vertical alignment to the bottom rather than the middle. So it achieves a very similar effect to this and it's still just a grouped function in here um, with that action at the bottom for a web URL. So both of these scenarios allow me to create a clickable link that covers the entire button, has some kind of an indicator on it to click itself, and works very, very well as long as you have those things grouped where you can just grab the entire set in mass and be able to move it around on the page um, and build it and design it out that way. And that's really about it. I think bookmark buttons are actually a very good way to include invisible links that can go on a lot of stuff. And especially if you include some kind of a symbol just to indicate that something can be clicked. Um, as opposed to trying to use tables or other stuff, which I've seen people do that just don't work quite as effectively. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have anything to say about this video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comments section down below. And if this is your first time into my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.